creatures, it's Em, and I'm back today with another creature feature. The series where I pick an animal and tell you lots of facts about them. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and becoming part of the creature crew, and also hitting that notification bell in the corner so you don't miss a single upload. Oh, the slime. The mucus, it's all too much. He will be my squishy. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. Audible have an unmatched library of audiobooks and they really want to inspire you to be a better you. If you want to be a more successful you, there are books for that too. And if like me, you want to be a more educated you, then there's definitely lots of titles for you to listen to. As you know, I spend a lot of time cleaning out enclosures. So rather than just listening to my playlists over and over again, I like to listen to audiobooks. And the audiobook that I've been listening listening to is The Great Zoo of China by Matthew Riley and it's amazing. What do you think? Because you've been listening to The Great Zoo of China too. With Audible you can switch seamlessly through your devices whether you're listening on your phone or on your tablet or in your car and it will always pick up where you left off. If you'd like to get involved and start your own 30-day trial then it's absolutely free to do so and you can follow my link down in the description box which is audible.com forward slash emzotic. Or if you're in the United States, text emzotic to 500 500. With Audible membership, you also get a free credit every month for an audiobook of your choice. If you don't enjoy your book, you can exchange it. Also, when you've downloaded your books, they don't disappear after you finish listening to them. They're yours to keep. Audible has an unmatched library of audiobooks, which you can really sink your teeth into. Get it, it's a leech. <laughs> So if you want to try your own free 30-day trial, go to audible.com forward slash emzotic. Are you my forward slash Dobby? You are. Mwah. She's so sleepy right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dobby. This handsome little sucker down here is known as Hyrudo medicinalis, but they are more commonly known as the medicinal leech. Medicinal leeches might give people the heebie-jeebies, but I personally absolutely adore them, and I think they've got fascinating colours. I'll see if I can get lots of close-ups for you in this video so you can accurately see. To me, they're like adorable little squishy vampires in a cucumber body. <laughs> There are over 600 species of leech in the world, but only around 15 of these species are parasitic. The rest of them like to feast on decaying plant matter. Parasitic, non-parasitic. Guess which one I have here in my hands? Yes, Hyruda medicinalis is a parasitic leech, and they are specialists in sucking blood. Sucking blood. Medicinal leeches get their name because they've been used in medicine for millennia. During the Victorian era, which was the height of medicinal leech fashion, any disease or illness which caused the skin to turn red, for example, fevers, rashes, allergies, that was all seen to be an excess of blood, and leeches were used in something called bloodletting to draw the blood out of your body and to bring you back into balance. More recently, medicinal leeches have been used in reconstructive surgery, especially when surgeons want to reattach appendages such as eyelids, ears, noses, and lips. Medicinal leeches are truly designed to drink blood. They actually have three jaws and they're in a Y shape. And once they bite down, they actually move like this, opening and closing. It gives them a fantastic grip and it really helps them to suck up blood. As they suck blood, they actually release something called an anticoagulant, and this is something that stops your blood from clotting, which is great for them because it means that your blood is much easier for them to consume. Medicinal leeches are experts in tracking down people to latch onto for food. They can actually detect shadow, they can detect your heat, and they can taste the oil secreted from your skin. They can even sense the carbon dioxide which you breathe out. <sighs> Hello, where are you going? Leeches are in fact hermaphrodites, which means that they have both male and female reproductive organs. If you keep two medicinal leeches together in the right environment, they will produce little baby bloodsuckers. An adult leech like this one over here can actually consume up to 10 times its body weight. Once they start sucking, they will gorge themselves to the point that they completely swell up to a massive size, and when they've finished feeding, they fall off, and they can use that meal for up to a year. The body of a medicinal leech is absolutely fascinating. They actually have 102 segments to their body, but these are actually broken up inside into 32 sections, and each of those 32 sections has its own segment of brain, which essentially means that the medicinal leech has 32 brains. Medicinal leeches shed or slough their skins once a week. Their shed skins are cloudy coloured and squishy. 
The medicinal leech naturally occurs throughout much of Eurasia and they were once very plentiful. Leech collectors would wade with bare legs through the lakes and rivers where medicinal leeches thrived and the collectors would gather as many leeches as they could before selling them to medical facilities. Sadly, leech collectors decimated the wild population and they are now a threatened species. Because they are threatened, they are protected and it is a legal offence to remove the medical leeches from their natural habitat. Luckily, the medical industry no longer uses wild-caught leeches, instead they are readily available from specialist suppliers who breed the leeches on a mass scale. Medicinal leeches, when they're properly cared for, can live up to about 10 years. And some people, myself included, do enjoy keeping them as pets. If you're interested in finding out more about medicinal leeches as pets, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because my next video on this channel will be about pet leech care and you'll be able to learn all about how to appropriately look after a pet leech. No, your eyes don't deceive you, I have just changed from my grey top into my black top because I'm going to attempt feeding my leeches and because I'm going to be trying to feed my leeches, if I'm successful, there will be blood. Lots and lots of blood. I'm hoping that this section of the video will give you a better understanding of what happens when a parasitic leech decides to latch onto you and to suck your blood. Please don't replicate anything you see in this video, and if you're interested in legitimate leech therapy, go and find a licensed professional. Although I know that I'm not anemic and I don't suffer from haemophilia, there's always an element of risk when it comes to infection. So if I personally have any cause for concern, I do have a doctor that I can go to. Let's get leeched. I have Dart and Demigorgon, my two medicinal leeches. Um, I'm going to see if they're going to be interested in feeding. I have a feeling that Dart, the smaller one, will be more interested in feeding. The larger of the two seems quite well fed already um, and he only arrived a couple of days ago so he still might not want to eat but we'll give it a try. I think I'm going to sacrifice my left hand because I still have to edit this evening so I need my right hand. Left hand it is. <laughs> <laughs> straight away! Did you see he detected me straight away? <laughs> I'm so tasty. I'm a tasty treat. What do you think? This is gross. Really? Yeah. Really. So what you doing, Em? I'm feeding a demigorgon and um, he's literally just latched on to my forearm over here. Um, so you can see he's actually latched on right there and um, he's, he's starting to suck and what you'll see is he'll start to actually expand and engorge himself all along here. If you inc- aha! Oh, I thought that there would be a kind of a tingling feeling but actually it almost feels like tiny little hot pokers every now and then and oh that's that's quite unpleasant actually <laughs> <laughs> let me just accurately try and um, document what's happening here so we've got the medicinal leech which is Haruda medicinalis and uh, this one is an adult and with the adults because they're quite seasoned when it comes to eating uh, they are very very happy just to latch on and start feeding whereas Dart, my smaller one, has yet to feed so he's not quite as willing to um, to, to feed just yet but this one, Demi Gorgon, is definitely enjoying the taste of my blood so does it hurt? It doesn't exactly hurt, but ah! Oh wait, no, no, wait, that does hurt. Um, well, <laughs> that's really unpleasant. 
open. What medicinal leeches have is they have three jaws and they're serrated and they kind of look like a Y shape and they move open and closed like this and um, while they actually suck they're actually um, their saliva has an anticoagulant which goes into my blood which it's basically stops it from clotting and it makes it easier for them to slurp up and um, while they're actually moving opening and closing I can feel it when he does it because it does feel a bit uncomfortable I'm not gonna lie it's it's not a walk in the park um, I don't think it was what I was expecting um, oh he's he's doing it again he's nibbling are you enjoying my blood sausage are you looking like a blood sausage is it, is it wrong that I kind of feel maternal because I feel like I'm like giving him nourishment yeah you know? you're, it, you're, it's like a beautiful thing to me he, he's gonna like impregnate you with an alien you're gonna have like a chest burster come out that's okay, that'd be kind of cool. This is dedication right here, nourishing my pets with my own body. Can you see what's happening? He's really starting to engorge himself now because he's enjoying my tasty blood. Um, I do apologize if anybody is a little bit squeamish. On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the most painful, it's honestly like a one or a two. But then every now and then, he'll open and close his serrated jaws like he's doing right now and then it jumps to about a 2.5 to a 3. It's not painful but you can feel it. You can really feel them sucking away. Oh! Oh he's... he likes this angle. <laughs> he's very excited over this angle. Ha! <laughs> so what do you do if you have a leech on you that you want to remove? Well you have to be really careful and the reason why you have to be careful is there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a common belief that if you get a lighter and you burn the leech they'll fall off and it's true if you burn the leech they will fall off but not before they regurgitate or vomit back up into your bloodstream and if there are parasites inside the leech guess where those go? <laughs> really the best thing to do with leeches if you have a leech on you that you don't want on you is just to let them fall off but you can also use your thumb and gently push but the problem with removing is sometimes you'll actually pull out some of their teeth remember their three jaws are serrated and they've got tons and tons of teeth in there and if those fall off into you you might get an infection hey what's it like to film a leech video it sucks <laughs> hey Danny What's it like to film a leech video? Sorry? <clears throat> What's it like to film a leech video? It sucks. Brum bum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so about 40 minutes has passed and I'm thinking he might fall off soon. Gosh, look at him, he's really quite spectacular. He's so impressive, look. He's just, that is full of my blood in there. Are you full of my blood, sausage? Look at him, he's so happy there. He's having the time of his life. This is like a banquet for him. Oh, oh, he fell, he's fallen. He has fallen, ladies and gentlemen, and that is it. And now the blood show begins. Oh, I am so proud of you. Look at him. Let me just turn him around so you guys can see. Look at him. He is full of my blood. He is an incredibly happy leech right now. That meal that he's just eaten, that will last him over a year. I can see the uh, anticoagulant is working its magic. I'll show you the wound area in a moment, but I think it's time that we allow him to digest his meal in peace. Well, there you have it. He is now several times larger than what he was before he started feeding and he's very lethargic now. All he's going to want to do is sit down and digest his mammoth meal. Can you see he's looking out for the water? He can smell it with his wonderful senses. So I'm going to say thank you very much for being our star today and for, for showing us how a leech feeds. Um, I'm going to pop him back in his water now. Thank you so much. Off you go. Yes, that is my blood all over the floor. And uh, you're about to see my arm in a couple of seconds. 
All right, guys, the moment that I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for, the bite wound. Now, I should say you are about to see rather a lot of human blood, my blood. So if you are of a nervous disposition, do not continue any further with this video. Now, as you would expect with leeches, they do have an anticoagulant, which means that I am not going to stop bleeding for several hours at least. I'm going to give you the countdown of five, four, three, two, one. You have been warned. All right, let me see if I can show you guys the bite wound itself. The bite wound is actually just under here. I'm gonna clean it up so you can see, but from holding my hand downwards, there is quite a lot of blood. You can absolutely see where he has been to town. He really munched down hard. Now, I know some of you at this point are probably really worried thinking that I'm in a lot of pain, and if you are, then that's really sweet of you, but really, there is no pain involved. So if you are one of the worried ones, then thank you, you're very, very sweet. <laughs> this is bonkers. <laughs> it's gonna be fascinating to see what actually happened down there, but as you can see, 10 minutes later, I am still dripping blood everywhere. This is not going to stop anytime soon. All right, luckily I have one of my trusty first aid kits over here. And what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna take an antiseptic wipe, and this is gonna remove all the bacteria around the wound site. And wipey wipey. Ah! <laughs> that stings, because it's an alcohol wipe. Ah! That's so unpleasant. Oh my goodness, look at that, it's still bleeding. You cut me open and I keep bleeding. So far what I've done with this wound is I've cleaned it with a wet wipe, I've used an antiseptic wipe as well as alcohol, and now this is where we put the emzotic spin on things because I'm not gonna do what everybody else does, no. Now I've seen quite a few different suggestions as to how you can deal with a leech bite, and typically they go something like this. Wet wipes, antiseptic, bandages, and surgical tape. You'd think that that would make sense, but I have something better. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I mean, they're designed to absorb blood, so it's only natural. Leech bite survival for 21st century ladies. <laughs> and we're gonna... Open these wings. I always tear those. I can never get it off in one go. I always tear them. So, you take your sanitary towel. This one happens to be by Always, my favorite brand. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored, but I should be. And I'm going to wrap the wound site just like this all the way around. And the great thing is, the wings are leak proof. Do you know, all my life, people have told me that I share too much, but I truly believe that sharing is caring. So there you have it. I treated my leech bite with a sanitary towel and surgical tape. Genius. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found that edutaining, educational entertaining. I'm trying to, trying to combine the two in this video. So I hope you found that equally educational and entertaining. Edutaining. I hope you found that edutaining. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in another Creature Feature soon. Bye.